Wire spooling jig, version one. Knob in the top. Wires pass up through this. Comes along this part up here. And this will come from these here that will have a um, spool of wire attached. And this is only a model mock-up. Point is, as this unit turns around, all arrows stay in the same direction. After making several attempts to uh, try to automate this with different motors, I either get motors that haven't got enough torque now if I do have the ones that got enough torque, um, they're extremely slow. Probably get like one revolution every minute or more. Either way, this proves point of concept. Uh, I will take another attempt tomorrow to hook up a motor to it, but uh, if that fails, um, I want to try a different gear version. See where I've tried different gearing. Holes dug into it. I tried a gear on the bottom, tried a belt. Found out that trying to spin it off of this center part requires a lot more torque than me turning anywhere from the outside edge. Turning from the outside edge is really easy, so I thought the motors would be able to do it easily. But uh, going off that center. Um, point is extremely difficult. So tomorrow I got a, a bandsaw blade that I'm going to put around the outside edge and it's going to come to a motor that's going to be mounted just out right here. It's a DC motor so I could control the speed with uh, voltage and I've also uh, changed the polarity. I find all my AC motors I got here are really too fast uh, for what I'm going to try to do. So anyway, tomorrow I'll see how that goes. Another thing I'm going to try to do tomorrow is for up here at the top, I'm going to try to put an eye above here on a tripod that will have legs come down to the outside edge. So that eye would not be part of the spinning mechanism. Once again, just to prove that the cables could leave from here with having the sides of the spool like that drum cable would leave from here, come up, be able to hook into here, leave from here, come up, go through this. And then would focus into an eye right here. And then from there, that's where all the twisting of the cables will turn. And then we'll go up to a counter block and then to the final winch.